Welcome to the Man Channel. This is Sunday the 1st of June 2014. Um, if you know that, <laughs> if you follow me like on Facebook and stuff like that, you know that I've been into 90s music a lot lately. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why. I think it's because it's like, we were, we, we had like a flashback. We had a throwback Thursday. Me and my friends were just, for no reason, we were reminiscing 90s music and we just kept trying to one-up each other. Like, remember this song? Oh yeah, we were like, oh yeah. But then I actually got hooked on 90s music now. And I'm kind of, I kind of, I mean, I don't know if I'm a prophet about this or anything, but I think it's kind of coming back like that 90s music. It's weird. Anyways, I have a article in front of me here called Christian Baker Ordered to Endorse Same-Sex Wedding. This is from WND under the column Faith. And it was published uh, two days ago by Bob, Bob Unra. So this guy's holding a sign with a rainbow. And it says, let them eat cake. And one of them says, open your heart. Ugh. What do you know about that? Anyways, uh, I'll just get into this. Denver, the Colorado Civil Rights Division is telling the Lakewood, Colorado baker he must violate his faith and create wedding cakes for same-sex duos, even though the state doesn't recognize such unions. I've had to study a lot about this lately because I don't know. I think it comes down to that one thing that Martin Luther said, that... To ignore your conscience, is, conscience is, it's neither right nor safe. We can debate about this all day, whether you're, um, whether you're participating in sin or not. We can have a debate on that all we want. But I think that the matter of, of uh, the, the principle of the thing is, is that if it's on your heart that you feel guilt, like if, you're, if you feel like your conscience might be informed, whether it's informed or misinformed, or just not informed at all, um, or misguided, is what I meant to say, then you feel, like, weird about that. So, that's what, that's, when it's, that's what I just said when it comes back down to Martin Luther, because you, the conscience is something that you cannot violate, even if you're misinformed, that's still considered a sin. So, whether you don't think you're participating in sin or not, you should always listen to your conscience. The ruling came Friday from the state agency board in a dispute between Jack Phillips, a Christian baker who runs Masterpiece Bakery, and two homosexuals for whom he declined to create a cake in 2012. Colorado's constitution doesn't recognize same-sex marriage, and attorneys representing Phillips said the decision is a step too far. Unbelievable. The government seeks to impose a new belief system upon Jack Phillips, one that is fundamentally at odds with his conscience and his liberty, explained a legal filing from attorneys from the Alliance Defending Freedom representing Phillips and his masterpiece cakes in Lakewood. Two homosexuals filed the complaint against Phillips declined to provide them with a wedding cake. Phillips offered uh, to provide other products but citing his own Christian beliefs declined to produce a message on a wedding cake that conflicted with his faith. Well, if I was a Christian baker and they, they wanted me to put like a something nasty on there, I wouldn't do it. You can put me in jail, but I'm not going to do that. Administrative law judge Robert Spencer, however, earlier ordered Phillips on pain of fines or even jail time to violate his faith and provide the wedding cake to homosexuals Charlie Craig and David Mullins. ADF appealed the erroneous ruling, filing a petition for review to the commission. But the commission on Friday upheld the administrative judge's opinion, re rejecting ADF contentions that Spencer, under the state's court rules of procedure, should have dismissed the complaint. The notice argues Phillips did not discriminate because of sexual orientation but acted in accordance with the provisions of the Colorado Constitution, state law, and public policy of the state. Phillips' conduct and expressions in declining to resign and create a wedding cake are protected by the free speech clause of the First Amendment of the United States Constitution and by Article 2, Section 10 of the Colorado Constitution, ADF stated. You remember the Constitution, you guys? That's the thing that helps you defend your freedom. Maybe we should get back Hillsdale College dot edu is a great place to go i've gotten a couple of certificates from that place i'm proud to say that the lawyers argued the case involves both actual and symbolic speech and phillips and his company cannot be forced to create and convey a message with which they disagree spencer was wrong adf contended because the alj's recommendation that court uh, that rep uh, respondents seize and, des and desist from discriminating against complain uh, complainants and other same-sex couples by refusing to sell them wedding cakes or any other product respondents would provide a heterosexual couples is over broad and exceeds the scope of relief authorized under state law authorized them 
America was founded on the fundamental freedom of all citizens to live and work without fear of government punishment, said Nicole, uh, Nicole Martin, lead counsel in the case. The seven commissioners refused to listen to arguments Friday, instead ordering Phillips to submit quarterly reports detailing that he's doing to pre de uh, detailing what he's doing to prevent such actions, such as store employee training and a tally of whether any customers were turned away. KDR, or KDVR TV in Denver said homosexuals Mullins and Craig went to the bakery for a cake for their wedding, which was scheduled to be in Massachusetts. There was no apparent explanation why a cake would be purchased in Colorado for an, uh, for an event to be held in Massachusetts. Phillips and his Christian beliefs prevented him from endorsing and participating in such events. A staff attorney for the American Civil Liberties Union, which advocates for the uh, homosexuals, said, The treatment the homosexuals received had to be given priority over the nation's First Amendment religious freedom protections. Did, did you just hear that? Am I, am I going crazy or is the world going... I don't know. This is ridiculous, though. If, if they can do this, then you better get ready for those guillotines that you hear so much about. Martin pointed out that Colorado's constitution has defined marriage as between a man and a woman, and she questioned whether the broad of state employees could overturn it. A decision on an appeal is expected to be, or a decision on an appeal is expected to be announced soon. Have you been noticing that so many states lately have been have been uh, lifting the ban on same-sex marriage, even if the votes are for keeping it between a man and a woman? The federal government comes in and overrules over you. Can you imagine? Like, the, the kind of stuff that we're having to deal with these today. If you're a Christian, man, you know that it's just getting harder and harder to try to survive in this world, man. They're trying to keep you down. They, they, I mean, really, they are trying to keep you down. ADF attorneys explain the issues in the case cuts to the basics of freedom in America. Jack simply exercised the long-cherished freedom to not speak by declining to promote a false view of marriage through his creative work. It's outrageous that the government would turn its guns on Jack and threaten him with a potential jail sentence unless he says and does what the government demands, Martin has said. The legal team said the homosexual duo wants Phillips to cease and desist from holding views about marriage that they disagree with. Oh, ho, ho. you hear that, Christians? Shut up. Your, your opinions don't matter anymore. Uh, and conform his conscience to their definition of marriage. That's called getting deluded. You can become self-deluded, my friend. If you don't listen to your conscience, you will sear it. And the conscience will no longer be heard in your mind, in your heart. It's a, I, I think that the conscience is what pain is to the body. The conscience is to the soul what pain is to the body. Because without pain, you don't know whether you're injured or you're dying or whatever. Your conscience, if you don't even hear it anymore, you're in big, big trouble, dude. Because that is the, that is the thing that, that is how you sense how your soul is doing. Where you're going after you die. After you die, excuse me. Um, every artist must be free to create work that expresses what he or she believes and not be forced to express contrary views, added ADF senior counsel Kristen Wagoner. Forcing Americans to promote ideas against their will undermines our constitutionally protected freedom of expression and our right to live free. If the government can take away our First Amendment freedoms, there is nothing it can't take away. And that, and that also goes for the guns, you guys. They'll take away your guns as well. Uh, Philip explained to WND he also would refuse to make certain other kinds of cakes based on conscience. If a couple were to come in and ask me to do an erotic cake for a wedding, I would refuse to do it. Uh, I would refuse to do that as well, he said. These are my personal standards taken by, taken from Jesus Christ and the Bible. You see, homosexuals undermine the fact that we're not the ones making this stuff up. We are obeying the commands of our Lord. So... We're not making this stuff up. We don't have an imaginary friend that we go to for advice because you cannot fathom God. You cannot make up a God like the God we serve because if you made up a God in your mind, He would suit who you are. He wouldn't, he wouldn't try to make you a better person. He would just be like, oh, you're perfect, you're a good person, and you would be wearing like bright colored robes and you would be like the Buddhists that wear bright colored orange like robes to show how humble they are. I'm humble and you better believe it. Ha ha ha. It's pretty hypocritical, but that's what the unbeliever is. He's a reprobate in his mind. He is a hypocrite and he doesn't even know it. So Spencer's ruling said Philip's constitutional rights are secondary because otherwise the cost to society isn't considered. He granted homosexuals a special standard. But the ACLU, which is representing the duo, said the same standard should not be used in other circumstances such as asking a Muslim baker to, to make a cake criticizing his faith or asking a black cake maker to make a cake for the KKK. 
Those bakers, because of their beliefs, would be allowed to refuse service, Spencer said. Spencer bluntly offered cake makers an alternative. They can quit. Hmm. Sounds like tyranny, and they're using the majority gay mafia to do it. Check it out. That's the, that is the poor guy that's under attack just because he wants to practice his Christian faith. Jack Phillips, owner of the Masterpiece Cake Shop in Lakewood, Colorado, cited conflicting religious beliefs when he declined in July 2012 to bake a cake for a gay couple's wedding reception. That is tragic, you guys. Imagine the kind of stuff... Imagine how bad that must feel for him. That he's attacked when he's in a... This country is supposed to be some place where you can be defended for what you believe in. I mean, this is a... This is really... I mean, cue the Twilight Zone music, man. I mean, really, this is really crazy and creepy at the same time. Pretty soon you're going to see what they did in the book of Genesis and in the book of Judges. That part where, you know, they were... were you, I don't even want to mention it. It's so nasty. But I think you know. where You're going to see a mob at your door and they're going to demand you bring your guests out so they can do whatever they want. It's going to come down to that, man. And it's just that if you don't speak up for it now, you're going to let you're going to let evildoers get on with their agenda. So, how about we stick to the you know, we already know who wins at the end of all this. So, the only thing that's required of you, dude, is just to be faithful to God. Cling on to his faithfulness. He is your faithfulness, man. He's a no words can justify or express how cool God is and how awesome he is, but God bless you and have a good day. And pray for this guy.